Okay, so one of the videos that we've been planning on making is problems that we've had with the RV that we've had to get fixed. And this is the perfect time to start it because we are on a giant hill going upwards. Not a hill, a mountain. We're in the middle of the mountains um, on our way to Trinidad, California. And given this thing all it's got within reason to get up these hills, we are almost to the part that it goes down and the engine gave out. So we're pulled off the side of the road and we're making phone calls here to try to get somebody to come out and fix the RV so we can get back on the road. All right, so it has been two, maybe two and a half hours. I think that's about right, two and a half hours or more since we um, pulled off the side of the road here. We called Good Sam and they've been calling and calling and calling. They called three different states and they can't find anybody who can come fix the RV. Um, all she could do was have somebody tow it to a Walmart in Redding, California, which is just over an hour away. And it's got to stay there overnight. And then I have to call them back in the morning and start the process over. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research into what this service is actually supposed to be providing. Because, yes, they are being a middleman. And I'm appreciative of that, of them making all these calls. Because I wouldn't know even where to start. However, I had to pay $216 to have this thing towed. Um, so that's one of my questions is, what am I paying you for? And the other question is... She was telling me that due to the time factors, we needed to put it on hold till tomorrow morning, you know, have it towed to this Walmart parking lot overnight and uh, and then call them back in the morning and start. It's three o'clock in the afternoon here. I don't know what time it is wherever she was calling from, but this is supposed to be 24 hour emergency roadside assistance. So where's the 24 hour thing kick in? That's what I'm not getting. So, anyways, we'll keep you updated. We're waiting to hear about when the tow truck is coming now. So here's the RV right here, off the side of the road. You can see we're up in the mountains here. That's what's ahead of us. We were almost to the top there, but we didn't make it, so. All right, guys, so just updating you on this whole fiasco. We've been here for three and a half hours at the side of the road. Not one single solitary soul not one park ranger, one cop, one anything has pulled off to see if we have any problem. And listen, yes, we do have the emergency lights on. Now, we're, we've been on the phone, you know, we've been getting this handled, but there was one, there was one person when this first happened, they pulled over immediately in front of us. We weren't even stopped yet. We stopped, got out and talked to them, and they said that they saw the smoke come out and stuff like that. So, um, you know, she offered some sort of help, and then she went ahead and took off. But it's just kind of amazing, and we just we just actually did see, like, a park ranger or something, or was it Highway Patrol or something? Or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they passed us about five minutes ago. And the California fire truck, uh, one of the, uh, one of the trucks, not, not the fire truck itself, but one of their... Like an emergency like truck a, of some like kind? pickup truck. With C A L fire on it, just drove by. <laughs> Nobody. What's it's, wrong with people? It's just absolutely crazy. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, we did see like a sheriff or something drive by. They just whizzed on by and kept going. This is just absolutely nuts. Um, but we're keeping our heads on straight and keeping a positive attitude. So um, we'll get through this. And a couple hours here, we'll be at a hotel or something, having a good dinner. So. Okay, so we got an update, guys. Keith's Towing is coming to tow us to Reading in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about that is it should be about 7 p.m. by then, if it takes them that long. And it should still be an hour before it gets dark. So we should still be good to go. We should be in Reading before it even gets dark. And, uh, and then we'll figure out where we're going to stay. We're thinking about staying in a cabin, um, but we can't really find a... A uh, park out there that has cabins available. So we're just going to stay at a hotel, I think. This is absolutely nuts, guys. I can't make this stuff up. We just got heckled by a cop. <laughs> we actually have the tow truck coming. We got about 20 minutes, half an hour wait yet. A white cop car just went zipping by this road right here. And somebody yelled out the window at us, like in that heckling voice. I don't know what they said, but it was so stupid. All right, guys, I hope you can hear me. It is windy and crazy out here. They're here hooking up 
Goliath getting ready to roll away. So poor old Goliath, even the awnings blowing in the wind over there. And there he goes, good old Goliath, getting towed away down the mountain. Holy crap, never thought I'd see that sight, guys. All right, we're going to get on the road, go get something to eat, find a hotel. Uh, I can only imagine what is going to come of this. People always told me I need someone like you, someone who gets me and someone who's cool, yeah. 